Hello everybody and welcome back to today's server review video. Today we are checking out, I believe it's Mineplex. Um, so I'm guessing it's a faction server by the first line just saying do slash faction. So I will go ahead and do that momentarily. But welcome to the server review series. If you are new here, the server reviews is where we go over people's servers saying what we think can be improved and everything. So if you are interested in getting one yourself on your server, please contact us on Discord. Our Discord link's down in the description below so we can get you added to the list and organized and everything. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So welcome to Mineplex. Uh, Mineplex. Uh, Myplex. Do select faction to view the faction commands. To begin your journey, find the wilderness NPC. We love new players, so please stay a while, and if you need anything, ask a staff member. The only thing I would recommend doing is making the do here capitalized, so the D capitalized. And, um, I don't think you need journey capitalized either. Um, or maybe space it apart a little bit more, so it's easier to... Uh, determine what's a new sentence and what's the same sentence and stuff, but that's just my overall suggestion. Another thing I noticed is when I spawn in, this is a very bland hub in terms of things. So you got a huge area here, but you only have one hologram, and you can't even see this NPC unless you're moved forward. So I would add either condense the hub in, make less room in the hub, or add a lot more to your hub to make it a little bit more, um involved if that makes sense i see what you're going with is the npcs here maybe remove these so you can actually see them um but i'm not 100 percent sure on what you want to do there in terms of ranks you just open the buy craft menu now what i recommend doing with rank npcs and stuff especially as an in-game thing is add like different papers rather than the buy buy craft here add like different papers that explain the difference between all ranks hypixel does this in their in-game store and stuff and then when you click that it takes you to the store so that would be what i would look into because uh, that could give a little bit more info on all your stuff. You have a rules NPC here, but it just runs slash rules. So what I would recommend doing is making this a GUI or a um, menu that pops up that says all your rules. Plus, I would um, make these a little bit neater and colored and stuff so people know exactly what's allowed and not allowed. Because right now it's kind of, kind of bland is the word. Um, it doesn't have enough poke on the user to... Uh, like influence what they're doing. Um, so I would recommend looking into that because that could really really help um, In terms of your auction house and stuff that is a DUI. So great job on that uh, Very expensive items, but you know go for every player being themselves um, I would also add like a starting kits because uh, I can do slash kit daily But I don't actually get it unless I uh, run the command so I would give this on your first join as a player have them run slash kit daily by default and I would also um, get rid of the default um, upgrade messages or achievement messages and I don't know why it broadcasts that I got kit daily that doesn't kind of make sense because if a lot of players are on at once you don't want chat spammed by getting kit daily so I would just remove that there maybe make that a staff message if you're really tracking that um, all right let's go downstairs look around your hub and everything take a look I'm guessing this is shops if shop existed it seems so it seems like you don't have shop um set up yet but you do have crates uh oh, okay so these are vote crates which i can take stuff out of interesting so i don't think these crates are set up cr that correctly um so i would look into your crates up as well because clearly um that doesn't seem to be set up right unless i can do warp uh warp crates Okay, so it does warp me here. Anyway, um, so yeah, look at that. This is also supposed to be a shop area under spawn, so clearly the shop isn't set up down here. I'm guessing you just have, like, slash shop or something. You don't even have sh slash shop. Can I do warp shop? No, do I have a warps? You can only have warps crate. So it seems like you may be in a very early stage of developing the server, which is completely fine. So what I recommend in terms of this is to really work on the features and don't release the server fully until you have every feature built in and stuff. Those crates should be built and they should work perfectly fine. They shouldn't. You shouldn't be able to put and remove items from those for sure. That's a that could be an issue, especially if you had those actual items in there and that was a crate bug that could cause some big problems in your economy. Um. In terms of balance and stuff, I would give a player a starting balance, and I would also create a shop system to allow them to sell and buy items, because that's kind of the only way you can do stuff. Um, do slash faction to start your journey. Um, clearly, that does not, it doesn't even seem like you have, you have slash F installed, but you don't have slash faction. Uh, so, I'm going to do just F create, like, BJD dev, or something, I don't know. Okay, so that, that worked. Um... So here, here's what I would recommend doing. So the first thing I would recommend doing is making sure slash faction works or switch this to slash, fac, slash f. 
or um, I, I would focus a little bit more on the system design rather than the builds. This is a nice spawn and stuff, um, but I would recommend focusing a little bit more on the system information and how you run the system in the game. Add like stats, add, uh, oh you do have stats, okay, you have MCMMO stats, but like um, add default stats in the GUI that are like kills, deaths, all that stuff would be really useful to have. And I would also recommend just making sure you have everything set up before releasing. Uh, I said that before, but I want to clarify on that. Make sure you have every single thing set up. Because if you release early and players don't have a complete thing, they're not going to want to compete. And especially on a faction server. But there's another thing I did want to mention. Faction servers are normally 1.8. You are running 1.16. So I would highly recommend either downgrading to 1.8 or running via backwards to allow 1.8 connections on your Minecraft 1.16.1 server. That's just my personal preference when I'm doing servers and stuff. I kind of normally join on 1.8. I don't normally join on 1.16. 1.16 has terrible performance, and especially on a faction server, that's going to come into having a lot of issues. You don't want poor performance, especially with TNT cannons and stuff. And in terms of player count, clearly I'm the only one online right now, so what I would recommend doing is getting a competition. Once you have everything set up, of course, getting a competition, um, giving up some money or something on PayPal to have that competition. That's normally the number one thing that drives players on your server. I remember when I ran a server, I did like a $100 PayPal giveaway, and we had players on for that like whole week we did that, um, or whole month we did that. I don't exactly remember the time period there, but... That is what I would recommend doing. You want to have a giveaway to make sure you drive players to the server and um, aim to keep them on the server uh, at all times. So that's just my suggestion there. All right, before I end this video, I would recommend also making a scoreboard and editing your tab because there's really no reason to have... Um, kind of you don't want that many animations and i've seen this tab set up before you don't even have the domain set up on there so i would really recommend looking into that changing that up a little bit making sure the server is complete so the visit our web page make sure it's actually set to your web page make sure all of that you don't really need the time up there the date's good to have up there maybe put your rank name up there um and i would also work on your chat formatting a little bit but those are my main suggestions i'm not going to get too much further into this just because i don't exactly know what else to say oh Make it so you don't lose blocks if you place them in hub. Because I can place blocks here, but I'm actually losing them. Um, so Or torches, at least. I can't, I can't place explosives, but if I play any other block or anything, I'm going to lose that. So that is not good. You should really recommend... You should really look into fixing that. Because you don't, you don't want that type of thing um, on your server. Especially uh, with all um, like glitching and stuff. Because now I'm out of blocks. I don't actually have those blocks. And I can just abuse the ones I got. So... Make sure your players don't lose their items, because that is a very big uh, negative on stuff. Okay, so I got it back. So it seems like I got it back, but it does uh, remove from my inventory for a time. So I would just prevent it from removing from your inventory at all. Maybe that's a world guard bug or something, but I would look into that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for rambling on for so long. Hopefully you do enjoy t did enjoy today's video, and you do enjoy the rest of the week's video. If you have a suggestion for a server or anything, please contact us on Discord. And if you have any questions regarding any reviews we do, no, they are not sponsored. The only um, way to... We just literally... You can wait on the list, or you can uh, skip the list with patreon but there is no sponsored videos that's a question i get quite often we do not get sponsored to make good reviews on servers we don't do that we don't even do sponsored videos on trailer uploads or like live streams or anything so please take that in mind anyway thank you so much for watching my name is noodles i'll see you tomorrow